morning, guys. I'm a little, uh, I'm a little frustrated right now. I was up, I was up like twelve, thirteen hundred dollars just now, and gave back seven, eight hundred dollars on CLEU. No, on ARTL. Even though I was trading this one pretty thickly. Oh, man, TOS. We we definitely will at one point switch day trading uh, from TOS, like guaranteed. I already said tons of times why we're not doing it yet. Allocating cash 25K to another a broker is going to take a little bit of time. Uh, I need to free up some capital for that. So I was trading our ARTL all pre-market. I don't know how many trades, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine trades before this last one. All of them matching my rules, being tight on cutting losses, taking profits quickly. And then here, pretty good trade. I was up, I was about to close this one for a nice little profit, didn't wanna get greedy, and then TOS crashed. Uh, for about a few minutes and by the time I you know I had it up on my phone which also wasn't loading I tried to load the website also wasn't loading eventually TOS the desktop came back the price was down here I pretty much ended up closing out as soon as the internet came back on uh, and you know I you know took like an eight of course it's like my biggest position size on the uh, so all these were small size I did half size this one I was like okay finally things are going good Go full size, TOS crashes. Oh. I hate, honestly, uh, buying on, on Robinhood. It's, I, it, I almost can't even do it. It's so slow. Yeah, that was a bit of a disaster here. Um, I, I don't really know what to say. Uh, you know, the worst part is I actually ended up selling at the worst time. But right when TOS came back, I was like, I don't know what's going on with this ticker. I just wasn't able to watch it for like three minutes. Now it's selling off. We could have easily flushed again. All of a sudden, I'm red for the day. So I had to cut my losses. Uh, is what it is, but uh, really annoying. <sighs> yeah, all the other brokers, all brokers guys have issues. You know, we, we talk about this so much. Yeah, so a little bit annoying there. <laughs> Make your own broker, Matt says. Yeah, maybe. Um, yeah, CMEG is definitely an option as well. You're just going to be paying high fees. actually the second time now today I've had issues with TOS so most likely I won't trade the market open sorry guys it's just you know I know the last few days I haven't been trading once the stream starts but it's pretty much out of my hands uh, when I'm using TOS so Maybe one day, Colby, maybe. Unfortunately, I got way too much on my plate already. Not to mention, it's definitely not an easy task, not something you just decide to do one day.
Yeah, that really ruined my flow, I'm not gonna lie. Um, not so much that my flow with the tickers, but my flow of being like, I wanna you know, trade this pullback, I wanna trade this breakout, but you know, I'm typically closing trades within 30, 45 seconds, 60 seconds, sometimes two minutes is like a very long trade. And if the platform crashes for three minutes, I mean, that's the difference between a five, 10% profit sometimes or a five, 10% loss. Yeah, I'll just have to take it slow. I mean, today could have been, could have been a really good day if that didn't happen. So we'll just, you know, it could still be a good day, but So a different kind of risk now that we're facing. It's like you got your market risk, you got your security risk, and then you got your broker risk, you know? Is that going to work? Oh, it's freaking been absolute hell lately with, with TOS. CLEU is actually looking pretty good right now. Could just keep making its move here. Yeah, well, boys, I'm kind of starting to feel the same. Well, actually, I do feel the same. It's, yeah, the market's been hectic and hard to trade, especially with the halts going crazy. But then, yeah, these these brokerages getting overwhelmed. I mean, if it's Robinhood, if it's Weeble, if it's Fidelity, it almost doesn't even matter. Um, that's really where um, I think the frustration really kicks in more than anything else. You know, I'll, I'll trade any market and I'll just, you know, try to manage it. But when you can't even manage your tool, then it's, that's, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to say. You know, I'm not gonna make any drastic changes today, but um, definitely, I think we're, we're going in the right direction. And, you know, as we allocate more, uh, I already have several different brokers. I just, TOS is still my favorite free day trading broker at the moment. So I'm going to probably look and, you know, dive. I already have exchange uh, accounts open on, on paid brokers as well. So it's, it's more of like, I just need to fund it and go. So we'll see. All right. So what, what are we looking at today? Let's, let's focus here back on the tickers. Let's get in a little better mood here. That really frustrated me just now um, because I spent literally two hours half sizing everything, taking profits, managing. And then a freak accident like that, I had no control over gets me. That's just like out of all the things. Um, first of all, guys, don't forget Monday, Washington's birthday, um, February 15, markets are closed. Oops, my watch list, uh, I guess did not save here. One second. So happy three day weekend, everybody. CLEU is the one that's rocketing right now. It's the one that most people are guaranteed to be watching. Five minute nice breakout here. Big resistance at 10. Can we break it? That's the big question. Let's see. I wasn't trading CLE too much. I wasn't even up on it that much. It is my my main winner at the moment, but only because we just gave back on ARTL. Um, I do like this kind of possible break here at 10. I don't think I'm gonna get too aggressive right now, but this looks like maybe we're gonna maybe pull back here a little bit more, find a little bit of support before we have that move. So I would be a little bit patient here. I don't think I'd be getting aggressive just yet. Um, but I think this one has really good opportunity. We'll see. We'll see if we break right now past 10 2. Chinese education trading, training services, 3 million flow, 26 million market cap. So there was a 3G filing 
showing four investors having stake in the company totaling 57.17%. Not totally sure who the investors are, but it must be quite significant if this company's up 140% almost here. So we'll see. So be careful guys, once the market opens, if you're using TOS, there is a good chance it's gonna crash again. So be mindful. I would really not recommend dip trading or buying anything you are not willing to hold for a potential five, 10 minutes. I think that will help you avoid some nasty situations because I would probably put my, I, I, I would bet that there's gonna be some sort of freeze within the next hour here on TOS, specifically around the market open. I do have my phone ready to go. Unfortunately, the last time it froze, the phone also froze, the app froze. So it, it kind of looked like, I don't know, it looked like um, either way, if it freezes, you're kind of, you're kind of screwed till it unfreezes. I'm just gonna have the account ready to go here on the side. Count ready to go on the side. But ideally, I don't want to trade anything where I need to, you know, panic sell. But I do want to be able to at least watch the price. What's up? Karina in the house, a box of green. Um, yeah, no, we're actually, 10 minutes is very long. We're typically, most of my trades are like under 60 seconds. Every now and then we'll hold over a minute, but it's uh, definitely not normal. Yep, so I got the phone app open as well. We'll see how that one performs. Last time it froze on me as well, so it wasn't able to really add any sort of difference here. Uh, let's really quickly go so, through some news, just make sure we're not missing anything. By the way, CLEU is pulling off right now. Possible trade here, nice trend line. Keep an eye on this one. Good, good support right around nine. Maybe you're gonna be a light crack there. I love the pullback potential right to the five minute uh, nine EMA. So watch out for this one. Trump impeachment day four. Apparently, uh, Trump's lawyer team is uh, a bit all over the place. I don't know if you guys have been watching it. It's, uh, I've seen a few clips and it's, uh, it's a bit painful to watch.
Shifts to dark trading game stop mania highlights shift to dark trading Not totally sure what they mean by that. I'll have to look into that a little bit later Beautiful bounce there on CLEU The Bumble uh, IPO uh, have you guys been watching that one? Get that perfect low at 69 so the Irony there. I, I'm not going to be trading it, but we'll definitely uh, check it out uh, today for sure. A lot of bigger banks taking on uh, crypto guys. A lot of finance based news today. China banned the airing of BBC World News in the country. That sounds very extreme. Wheat stocks healthy pullback. Oh God, that's <laughs> to spam and Skippy. Watch out, guys. Corona cases are going down, which is good to see that. Deaths are still unnecessarily high, I feel like. They're just not going down like the rest of the trend, so that's a really unfortunate. Um, worldwide, a similar situation. Cases are going down, but deaths are really, really um, pretty much pinned up here, which is uh, a bit alarming in my eyes. I would like to learn a little bit more about that. And in terms of overall trends, obviously the China, Chinese uh, New Year. Um, Bumble stock, let's see, this is IPOing that uh, we know about. A lot of sports, Disney stock. I don't think we're really missing anything too much here. So let's get back to it here. Focus on these stickers. Look at this right now, exactly in the nine area we we're talking about. Uh, yeah, we did increase it quite a bit, actually, Scott. Brokers at large. <laughs> One day, we'll have to make a spac to take our own broker firm public. That's that's the future. FSR guys, we've traded this one in the past before. This is actually making a really good move here. What's going on? QuantumScape and Fisker get buy calls on analysis and dives deeper into EV stocks. Okay. QS should have a nice little boom from this. Yeah, up at 52. I really miss QS. I wanted to accumulate down here, but I never had funds available um, for my QS swing, which I'm not gonna lie, um, feels pretty horrible because I've been wanting to buy this in this area and I've been saying it repeatedly. So hopefully some of you guys have. Um, again, I just didn't have funds available, so it is what it is. Quick little review of ARTL. USA Biotech. At first it didn't look like they had news. They even had some warrant news, but uh, I looked into it a little bit deeper. Um, it looks like this brokerage firm initiated coverage on a $7 price target uh, to buy, which is pretty extensive for the fact that this company is right now, um, right now at three, roughly. They've been on a nice little uptrend here, but a $7 price target is definitely no joke. So. Let's uh, let's stay tuned and uh, see how this one could rip. So right now we're kind of tra trolling in this three dollar zone. Let's see how much we can kind of break out from it. I wonder where he came up with the seven dollar price target. In my eyes, it seems 
seems quite high, so we'll see. I like the fact of the overall market conditions. If TOS just wasn't so slippery right now, I would be pretty stoked because the markets are more or less break even. Even Bitcoin's right now chilling at just 1%. That's beautiful, right? We only have two lead gappers, CLEU and ARTL. That's perfect. That's always what you want to be seeing. You know, these are the two gappers that are over 50% right now. That's beautiful, right? We're not having just like a free for all. We don't have just, you know, a bunch of chop out there where traders don't know what to trade because there's so much activity. We got two tickers. We got a calm market. Um, we got clean patterns. We got, you know, tickers between our price range between two and seven dollars, roughly. I mean, a lot of good stuff going on today. I think that's why I'm a little bit extra bummed about TOS right now. Obviously, it just was the big cause of the $700 loss I just took, but um, more so, you know, it, it undermines my confidence a little bit with, you know, just trading what's in front of me because now I'm thinking, you know, is this trade going to go through? Is the broker going to crash? Blah, blah, blah. So it's just, oh, it's a miserable, pla a miserable place to be sometimes. Um, but yeah, we're getting a lot of nice tickers, uh, or these two tickers are really um, fitting the criteria quite well. I would probably argue I'm a bit more of a fan of ARTL. Um, CLEU, uh, you know, it's an interesting one for sure. It is a Chinese uh, company though, but you know, uh, with the bigger investors behind it, that, that is a little bit of confidence right there. Three million float. So we'll see while the ARTL US Biotech 13 million float, also quite nice. <laughs> yeah, Colby, that's, that's how a bit, uh, how it goes sometimes, huh? <laughs> Oi, oi, oi. I am ready for this week to be over. I'm not going to lie, guys. This has been the most, actually, these last two weeks, all of February, the first two weeks of February have been a trading nightmare. I've had my biggest day this month. I've had my biggest loss this month. Um, multiple times, TOS has screwed me real hard this month. The market's been extra choppy. Common Collective is really the only way to go forward. Like you just gotta be, you know, try to be very mindful, try to avoid choppy situations. Try to get aggressive when you see the right move and pretty much just pray to baby Jesus that everything doesn't fall apart uh, at the same time. So that's a bit where we're, uh, where we're at right now. Get the money in a run, exactly. <laughs> yeah no for sure for sure jason like we're we're only growing here but um it's just i kind of feel like sometimes we don't have as much control over it right now and i think that's the part that's that's a little bit frustrating right it's like, it's like having a big winner when you break all of your rules. That doesn't feel that good because you're like, oh man, that is really not sustainable, right? Um, I, like, I like when I'm having nice consistent wins uh, and you know, small red days because you know, I'm, I'm following my rules. All right, guys, we've got another minute and a half here till the market opens. Uh, what I really like about ARTL is this kind of a little bit of a stair stepper pattern where we got forming here. We got a nice f um, five minute bull flag. I think we might have some good moves on ARTL. Um, I'll probably start trading small size at first and then hopefully we'll get a little bit more aggressive um, and we'll just kind of go from there. Um, with CLEU, you know, kind of an ugly overall pattern on this one, but we'll see how we want to take it. Obviously, you know, break of 1046 is all time high territory. So we're really, really close to that. We'll see where it goes. I got CLEU on my second screen. So I'll be watching ARTL on this screen and uh, we'll kind of be switching around from there. I'm going to change here. Time force today. Um, I got 2000 shares ready to go on ARTL and uh, uh, 300 shares on CLEU.
Ugh. Ugh, I just got the shivers. Way too high, Mike, I feel like. All right, guys, good luck, everyone. CLEU, nice break to the upside here. Overall, very good looking. It's nice that we have a nice pre market cushion. CLEU selling off though. Ooh, 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 nasty, nasty, nasty stuff. Great base here on ARTL. I do like this base a lot. Good 6% move there to the upside. TLEU might get halted if it continues this. Right now, TOS looks like it's holding. It's stable. You never know if it's going to crash any second, but right now it looks stable. CLEU is halted. ARTL also struggling here. Ooh, that was a nasty flush there on ARTL. Eleven percent from the highs of that last candle. There's a fat daddy pigeon sitting outside my window. It's kind of looking at me funny. This is why we don't trade market open specifically on TOS. Nasty move there. Nasty, nasty sell off. Possible great rebound though. Check out the five minute. Always will be looking, you know, thinking what kind of five minute candle am I looking for to see a, uh, a possible entry. But the problem with ARTL is we've had some of these gap up days where we actually ended up just selling off the rest of the day. So hopefully that doesn't happen again. Oftentimes these tickers have a lot of muscle memory. Oh yeah, for sure. Pigeon's ready to go. QS, beautiful move. Honestly, trading QS is uh, something I'd probably consider right about now. Possible big break here at 52.5. Let's keep watching this one. Let's see how it performs. Would have probably 100 shares ready to go. It's been kind of a nasty start though into the, into the open. Uh, was technically a fake out here on QS, so you do want to be a little bit mindful of that. CLEU is going to open up at 36, so we got time. This is an interesting move, ARTL. Holding this area. You guys see the Hillian spike? This was absolutely insane. Unfortunately, it's giving back kind of a lot of that spike. I'm really hoping it's going to hold here. Maybe it's going to have like a little bit of a, of a run back above 20. So that's kind of what I'm waiting for. So we'll see what happens. I know, having issues. CMLF, actually kind of interesting price action. SFET, big sell off here. Very scary. I would be very careful on that ticker. Bought one clove. This was a swing trade. I just want to be watching CLOV. 
I really need to free up some capital on my swing trade account. So we could talk about that in a little bit. ARTL, great breakout there. <sighs> Let me just quickly check here some of our swing trades. Thinking how we can, so right now the portfolio is down a little bit. Oops, keep clicking the wrong button. ACIC looking for that move, BFT up a little bit. CLOV, potentially amazing place to be buying it. I wish I closed Hillian pre-market. I think we're gonna get a great bounce on Hillian soon here. I would probably even consider entering with my non-swing trade portfolio given the current price is really good. CLEU, open. Quick little dip down, but it's holding. I wonder if it's gonna keep selling off here. Daily chart really has me worried on this one but five minute could be a little bit of a fake out here before it actually ends up ripping back above the uh, $9 and the nine EMA. So let's keep an eye on it. I would like to see Hillian um, get close to 25. But I really, honestly, I hate being in the position where I want to free up capital. Um, it's usually never really a mindset you want to be in, but, uh, you know, we'll see. ATRL looking really good here. Let's see how the three holds. CLEU having a big sell off there. Was about to go long, canceled it, because the order didn't go through. The second the order didn't go through, I lost faith in TOS, so I closed it. CLEU still selling off. I don't know why my order on ARTL didn't go through. It should have went through. I'm kind of nervous that randomly I'm gonna pop up with an entry here. I would have probably bought here again, but again, I I feel like I have no control over TOS right now. Scary stuff. QS looking great, absolutely great. It's a slow mover though, so you'd have to kind of use some size here. Some, uh, looks like other people here are having issues with their ARTL order. Yep, I don't know. ARTL, I gave back so much money on this one. Seven, eight hundred bucks in one trade because TOS crashed. 
I couldn't do anything. Platform was down for about three minutes. So I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm a little nervous trading um, ARTL at the moment and just in general. So the second my order didn't get filled, when I hit the ask, I closed it. And I was like, okay, well, there's something wrong here. Metex, I could check that as a brokerage. I don't know it, so I probably don't have an account there. I must have an account on like every broker. Nice, Colby, good to hear that it's working um, from time to time. E-Trade having issues with ARTL as well. All right, well, I'm gonna take a quick breather here. I'm gonna fill up my tea. I'm gonna go run to the restroom and then hopefully have a fresh mind here while everything is selling off and halting and TOS is having issues. So I'll be right back. Give me like two minutes or so. All right, guys, what did I miss? Hopefully nothing too much. CLEU kind of looking like a disaster. ARTL all over the place. Ay, 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 ay. We'll see what happens. First of all, the, the gloves got to go back on. Choppy open on ARTL, but... It's looking okay. I mean, these flushes are very strong. But it looks like it's in a bit of an uptrend right now.
I'm watching this one under 3.9. First size long at 308. Again, using small size. Going now to a bit more reasonable size. Nine forty five AM Eastern Standard Time. QS just had a pretty wicked sell off. I don't know if you guys saw that. And take some profits off the table with ARTL. Made like 200 on that trade. Very quick one. I don't trust this ticker and I don't trust TOS right now. So I'm not going to hold. I'm not looking for home run trades. Oh man, Beck. I'm sorry to hear, man. That was, that was my Wednesday. <sighs> Max losses are never fun. Could break out here ARTL. What I like to do when I have a max loss is really take my time, make make a make a dinner, cut my hair, relax, go sledding, do something, do something just different, you know. Nice breakout there. We sold apparently way too soon. Nice 10% run up there. Small size possible entry here at 24. We're moving it. Good chance it's going to break 3.5, I feel like, but just so risky at this moment. Anything could happen. If this was a normal kind of ticker in a normal environment, I feel like I'd be getting long here. Trying to get a small size here again. It's a good setup at least. Yeah, back in my feel you, man. Take care then. Have a great weekend. There's nothing wrong about hitting your max loss or having a red day. I've, that's been pretty much every other day lately for me. Um, that's just how it is as a day trader. So no, no stress, you know. I mean, it's it's so easy to stress about it, but. <laughs> Maybe I might be. Thanks, Beckham. ARTL setting up for that possible breakout here. I mean, this should be this should be a good move. Watching it, but I don't know. Thanks, Yula. Yeah, no trading Monday. It's Washington Washington's birthday. Yo, ARTLs, I feel like about to fake out so hard, but who knows, could break out so hard too. No matter what does no matter what ARTL does right now, I'm not gonna be surprised. 
Five, four, 340 getting chipped. Ooh, here we go. Oh, so close to that new high. ARTL sure is tempting to want to trade, that's for sure. CLEU is just gonzo. There's the flush on ARTL. It's a bit of a, usually before it opens, it sells off. So today's actually a bit of a different day. Great five minute uh, EMA support, um, nine EMA support on the five minute chart. Could be wild boys. I would not doubt it. Not doubt it at all. FTFT, FT, let's quickly check it out. Yeah, nice nice moves on FTFT FT for sure. It's having a lot of resistance here at eight. Not surprised because it's having a double top here. A lot of back holders are gonna be getting out on this area. It's gonna take a lot to get this uh, ticker through, but it looks like it has catalyst today. So that's a really good sign. <sighs> So who knows, FTFT could keep pumping here. I'll put alerts on it. VWAP could be a great accumulation zone. Wafu being called out as well. Wafu, great continuation, 20% there. Big breakout here almost almost breaking that last high here it's got to go just a little bit more good call out as well wow food only 18 million dollar volume so far pretty light market cap that 38 4.3 million shares outstanding. Definitely has that spike ability. So very interesting ticker for sure. Bit of a nasty flush there, huh? 17%. <clears throat> Heck yeah, Sean. Woo! Happy to hear, man. You got me beat. <laughs> but it's not a competition, but happy to hear, man. That's awesome. Good to see you guys in the chat room doing, doing that amazing progress like that. It's really not like the prettiest day again. Pre-market was actually pretty okay. Pre-market was not bad. Oh, we had, we had opportunities. Nice one, AP Pro. Happy to hear. Uh, are you? What are you doing? Are you dip trading this one? Are you just shorting it? What are you doing? 
Does the ARTL on the backside of the move? I mean, technically, yes. Right now, we're trending below uh, the 9 EMA. But we're not in a downwards trend yet. We're just on the backside of the of the big front side move, I guess you can say. It sounds a little bit ridiculous. All right? You have a nice big upside move, the front side move over VWAP, and then you go back down like this one right here. Uh, we're below the 9 EMA. So this is the front side move. This is the back side move. And then now we cracked VWAP here. We're in a downwards trending stock. And now everything uh, switches to, you know, buying dips, selling on the reversals, stuff like that. ARTL, boom, back in action though, just like that. This could be a big breakout here at 3-4. Oh yeah, Glenn, I, that happens to me all the time. I uh, gotcha. That was that was a perfect time. ARTL new high. Just gotta be a little bit mindful buying the breakouts on that ticker. FSR kind of crawling back up here. Billion looked like it found support. I'm really thinking that this one might have a nice break to the upside at one point. So definitely worth watching in my eyes. Obviously, I'm long it and that's what I'm hoping for, but it does seem pretty good. ARTL either had a fake out just now or it's, it's having a healthy pullback. It's, it's almost impossible to say. So we're just gonna keep watching it. I have it on my second screen. Nice move here on FSR, breaking higher. Next major resistance is a little above a 20, so. Oh God, 1AP Pro, good luck with that, man. That sounds like an absolute nightmare. Nice, Hila. That that's a solid trade already. FSR might be a little bit of a setup coming up here. I just want to watch this one a little bit longer. I think I just missed that by literally um, a cent or two. Um, FSR, ACIU. I don't know, I haven't really been looking at it. Not trading at the moment, so it's not something I'd be looking at. Maybe for a swing trade or something, but for day trading, it, there's no energy. I know it's trying to hear back at it again. I don't like the fact, I'm sure you guys know what I don't like about this one. If you look to your left, you have a big flush here. Good chance we're in that same territory and we might see it again. So the risk reward is not favorable. FSR, perfect move here. I missed it by literally a cent. So that's a little depressing. Might have to cry later. ARTL, if you're buying breakouts on this one, it's probably the most painful experience ever. But I think anyone that's watching ARTL knows that buying breakouts isn't really an option. So 
hopefully you guys are avoiding that. It looks like you know you're just you'd be getting stuck in fake out territory. A lot of wicks going in both directions. So it seems like ARTL is just kind of better to accumulate. Maybe it's going to be a little bit cleaner at one point, but still it's kind of nasty. Should I buy Tron? I'm I'm not sure. I'm not following Tron. ARTL, great break out there. That was the first pullback. Possible move over 3-6. Boom! Congrats to anyone holding this one. You. Yeah, Young Mo. Uh, I, I, I don't like it because of the way they trade. The sub dollars, they're not, they're not my favorite. Also, anyone trading on a brokerage that charges per share, like uh, light trade, I mean light speed, uh, you know, trading sub dollars is super, super expensive once you go up on size. So that means there's less traders trading them, which means even weirder setups and so on and so on. I like my t two to seven. Checking my swing trades. AC, I see selling off a little bit. We're unfortunately long this one at 13.8. Well, not unfortunately, but um, unfortunately we are kind of holding through this at the moment. Uh, BFT, Clove doing its thing. Would like to accumulate Clove. CLV are actually finding some pretty good support. GeoEV. Should have closed this one several times already. Helion, nice move here. This is the flag setup I was waiting for. Nice 40% move, now it's sold off 12%. That's really not that bad. Uh, and now it looks like it's gonna have that second rip to the upside. There's a good chance that we might close Helion today or Monday, I mean Tuesday, sometime soon. IPOE going the right direction. iSun finding support, hopefully it stays. <sighs> PLBY, really unfortunate sell-off here on this ticker. QS, great move on that one. SFT, not really doing too much of anything. SSPK, it's moving. THPR, slow but steady. Yeah, it's... Not like stoking right now about our swing portfolio, which is a little depressing. Might see if we want to accumulate QS at one point. This is a lot of resistance here at 53.7. Uh, if QS can break this area, it's gonna be a nice little move for sure. Which we might be seeing here. No PKO, no thoughts at the moment. I can check it out maybe later. Yeah, I mean, they're they're hot uh, for sure lately. So, I mean, if you feel it, go for it, you know. Or just because I'm not trading something does not mean you should not be trading it, you know. Sometimes if, like, it could be a great setup, but I know that I'm going to spread myself too thin or else I should, or I should be focusing on something else, so I just choose not to trade it. Great pullback here on QS. Small size potential here at 75.
removing order. ARTL selling off a little bit. Oh, whoops, wrong alert. It's going to go off. Things quieted down just a bit here, huh? I know is actually gaining a little bit of traction, but just another one of those tickers I, I don't really trust. No wild boys, do not <laughs> ride it all the way to the ground. <laughs> AI KI surprisingly good momentum here on this one. I was not watching this ticker, but great movement here. Might be potentially over, but great multi-day run, multi-week even. <laughs> QS is actually surprisingly making Making headlines here a little bit on our scanner. Having a pretty decent pullback right now on QS, I really would consider entering this one. I had that limit order at 55. We didn't get the fill, so I removed it. ARTL still potentially entering a downwards trend. I'm a little bit nervous on this one, not sure if we're still going to trade it at all. We still have it on the top chart. Wait, QS making moves down, FSR potential as well. QS is not a typical ticker I would be day trading. Nice move there, lower. Let's see if we can get a fill here at 41, small size. Finding that 9 EMA support. ARTL is actually making decent moves as well. This is a bigger ticker, so I'm trading it a little bit more calmly here. I'm going to put QS on my top screen. I'm waiting for a break over 53 on QS. So looking for a little bit more of a different kind of trade here. Looking to hold this one just a, a tad bit longer. All right, 1AP Pro, man. Take care. <laughs> Program that remote. Maybe you can make it even snappier. Small size on QS, just kind of holding it here. Still thinking maybe we're going to get maybe a, a bigger move over 53, so I'm just going to give it some time.
Jeff's calling out Ebon. Oh, QS making good moves. Might actually average into this one on a higher price. Oh man, sorry to hear Nate. Take care though. Yvonne's interesting. It has these kind of nice little spikes here. It's fizzling out the volume though, so I don't think it's potentially going to be interesting anymore. Just be very careful. It doesn't look too exciting what I'm seeing here. QS does have a little bit of fading volume. This is a big breakout day for QS though. Shorts are definitely getting squeezed. Short floats not too high right now, but this is always not always uh, updated. Morgan Stanley Overweight. That's good rating. Might be going long here. One more size. Cell volume's fairly light. Buyers at 86, just went long at 83. Would like to see VWAP hold though. Nice hammer candle there. The last move off the low was about 6%, then we pulled back about 2.6%. 6% move would put us over the high of the day, so that could be a really good move from here. So we averaged up into this position. I rarely average up, but this is a bit of a different kind of trade here since it's more of a mid-large cap kind of category. And we're kind of holding this one over our typical, you know, south of 60 second kind of trade, right? So right now we're at a miniature cup and handle right here. Uh, we got the um, in incline move. We got the cup. Uh, and right now, probably on the one second, you're going to see a nice little pullback handle. So right now we're breaking out of this. So let's, let's see how high we can go. There's going to be big time resistance here at 53.72. Five minute is technically bull flag 
um, with that last five minute candle so close to breaking to a new high. So that's really a big question. Are we gonna break that high? Volume's coming up on the one minute, so that's promising. So we might pull back here around 5230s. So we'll see what happens. So far, light volume on that pullback. CLEU it looks like possible support zone here for another trade back to the upside, but I, I don't know, I think it's dead. QS had that pullback that we were just talking about into the 30s. Hammer, red hammer candle right now. Let's see. We've got eight, seven, six, five more seconds in this candle. Let's see if we're going to end with a hammer candle and then maybe with the next candle we're going to have a nice continuation past 52.6. So that's kind of what I'm rooting for here. Uh, it's still still consolidating. So this is probably the more or less the cup and handle we're seeing here on the one minute and a little bit more properly getting formed. Still waiting for that possible breakout. You got to be slower with these tickers with these larger caps. Um, they, they don't move that fast. So it's it's not like a small cap where, you know, I give it one or two attempts. It's kind of like you have to let it play through and it's going to have a lot of fakes usually. But it is trading fairly aggressive right now in both directions, or in, uh, so, yeah. Just making sure I'm not missing anything right now. WNW is having a pretty healthy pullback right here. This could be a good continuation. Problem with CLE use is it's, it's been such a strong downwards trend might not be able to get out of that one. Daily chart's pretty rough on this too, so next level, everyone's probably looking at it $6. It's just, I'm not sure how much I'd like to get involved with it. But, you know, technically it's above, back above support. Well, I just cracked it again, so this could either be a great little short-term entry looking for a reversal here. I don't know. So it's hard to it's hard to really say. The sell volume on QS in those last two one minute candles was really, really nice. I like how the, the breakout volume on here in this one minute candle was very high and the sell volume here was very low. That's a very bullish sign. Obviously nothing's guaranteed. We need to really have that crack here um, above 53. It's not gonna chill here forever. So, you know, there's still concerns for sure. Uh-oh, looks like that was a fake out. Uh-oh, boom, selling off. Look, maybe didn't hold there. But it's a larger cap, so these things are gonna fake in both directions quite a lot. So that's what I mean by just kind of giving it a little bit more time. Yeah, no, it's it didn't make it, unfortunately. It's not really bouncing either. It's not a good sign. All right, we're close to some of this position. So we're almost out. Yeah, didn't work. Didn't work, boys. Back to the drawing room. That was a bit nasty, a bit unnecessary. When it didn't bounce, when it didn't have that quick bounce, that's when I was like, uh-oh, it's probably not gonna reverse. And that's when I tried to get out, but didn't get out quick enough. So I don't know, we're gonna be taking a small profit here. It was a, it was a failed move. So we're walking away with $35 on QS. Could have walked away with $200. Um, but my move was here uh, above 53 and then maybe even holding a pullback there 
and then uh, having a continuation. So pretty much what just happened, quote unquote, I don't use stops, I don't use trailing stops, but that was basically what just happened. We hit a trailing stop and I'm out of that one. Um, I was I was looking to hold it as long as there was an upwards trend. The upwards trend was gone, so I didn't, I saw he closed it. Is what it is. Not, not the most exciting market we have today, so we just kind of have to play around with what we got or just not trade, which is usually the best idea. But um, I thought there was potential. There was, so I, I don't regret anything about that trade. Might even wrap it up already, honestly. It's uh, such a snooze fest out here. Still waiting to sell our Hillian position. How did I just, oh yeah, I put the L first. I was like, what did I just do wrong? Yeah, so this is the Hillian move I was waiting for. Let's see if we are gonna have some more fall through on this one. Uh, I really wouldn't be surprised. We've been holding Helion for quite some time, averaging into these areas down here. This is the pop I've been waiting for. I thought we were gonna have um, a second green day right out of the gates um, and maybe break 22. That's what I thought. Um, unfortunately, uh, we're having nothing of the sort um, at the moment, so I don't know. I would like to see move over 20s and then, uh, I don't know, manage the position, I suppose. Uh, which which one are you talking about, uh, Wild Boys? Let me know which chart you're talking about, and then I will take my best stabs at it. By the way, guys, I, knowing today was slow, and knowing that TOS already gave me half a heart attack for not working and making me lose 700 bucks, again, TOS is really good at making me lose somewhere between seven and $800. It's like they have a gift for it. I decided to treat myself with something that I love. I don't know if you guys know what this is, but uh, I'm an absolute addict when it comes to Matsipan. So good. And uh, Richter Sport really does it right. So I'm gonna crack off a little bar here. Nothing like some trading food. Yesterday we had cake. Whoop. <laughs> Yesterday we had cake, and today we're having matzipan. <laughs> so all is well in the world. Mm. <laughs> nice, Jeff. <laughs> I'm stoked for that. Um, yeah, more cheesecake, too. Mm. Oh, Aaron, you got to get the Oatly one. But yeah, that sucks they didn't have it. I don't know what to say. Yeah, Wild Boys, I think uh, QS, I'm going to be kind of following what happens with their case and everything else but if everything looks good i think qs is a is a company i'm gonna potentially put into my long-term portfolio infused oh boy before or after the market opens the battenberg cake hmm i'm not sure Oh yeah, I've had it. It's quite good. I've actually just recently had it. Like, um, well, not recently, but like a year ago. That looks so good. What I really like is Baumkuchen. I don't know if you guys ever had that. That really gets me going. Oh, it's also a popular dessert in Japan. It's always interesting how much, how many similarities there are between Japan and Germany. On the outside, they look so different, but when you dig into it, a lot of similarities. Oh my God, I just ate way too much. All right, one more. 
Come on, alien. Don't let me down yet. I still wanted to sell you. QS popping back up here. Maybe it was a little bit of a shakeout, bakeout. I got shaken out. It was too much. <laughs> this is, <clears throat> we always get really distracted on this channel when, when the market's giving us lemons, which is fine. Nice move higher on QS, guys. I'm not sure if it's going to continue its trend over 53, but it had a good rebound for sure. So that's good to see. Sad that we couldn't walk away with more profits on it, but it is what it is. So right now we're up 842 on the day after giving back $700 because of TOS. So technically we would have been up 1500. Actually, it was a green trade. I was just about to click sell. I would have made 200 to $300 on it. And then it froze and I was like, what happened? Uh, and then when it unfroze, I was down 700. So yeah, that was, that was so technically it could have almost been a 2K day. Um, instead of $700 loss, it could have been a $200 profit, um, whatever. $800 profit, I can't complain. You can never complain about making money, but um, yeah, it, yeah, I've been getting a little bit annoyed lately on this whole platform thing, so sorry. Sorry for ranting all the time about it. It just happens so much lately. Mm. Will I keep day trading today? Probably not. Almost always when I end the stream, I'm done for the day. This week was the first time in months I traded after the stream, and that was with that was with ACIC. Just two trades that I'm sure that we already talked about. Two very quick trades right in this area. Um, we dipped lower. That what day was that? That was mm, that was right here. I bought here, sold here, and I bought again here and sold here. It was like two very quick trades right after, like literally right after we ended the stream. I was looking at the chart and I was like, "That's a good trade." Um, otherwise, when I'm not streaming, I'm not trading unless it's pre-market, which you know is what it is. Yeah, Constantine, I, I felt so as well. Unfortunately, I mean, it didn't really pay off, but I, you know, if we were a little bit quicker and we decided to scalp it a bit more and, you know, take two base hits, you know, we could have walked away with like $200 um, and then maybe, maybe even trade this one, take $150, trade this one again, take another 150 bucks. You know, I could have been more of a scalpy, but I was looking for kind of more of a, you know, long-term move here uh, which could have happened, you know, so hindsight is 2020, but yeah, for sure. When the market's slow, sometimes you get large movers. I mean, there's always something moving somewhere, right? There's always an opportunity. Um, it's just really like, you know, does it fit your strategy? Uh, how much are you going to hunt for it? Um, are you going to trip over yourself by looking for it too much, right? You know, tripping, Tripping over dollars to pick up pennies is sometimes what you what you get stuck into. I just ate half of this whole entire thing. That's not good. I'm gonna put this really far away from me. Ooh boy. Yeah, so I'll, I'll just do it right now. So if I go to setup, I could even share my workplace. Usually, I don't know what I shared before. I think I shared the grid. I'm actually not even sure what the difference between workspace is, share workspace. Um, which one do you want? I'll, I'll just uh, share grid for now. I'll just copy it here. Don't forget to drop a like do it all right share fw 
Remember, for shared links, you need to go to setup, and then you go to open shared item, and then you put the uh, shared item in here, and then you can see, um, you can see it, right? You don't open it in the browser. <laughs> Aaron, I like that. When market gives you lemons, get, go long LMND. Uh, kind of makes me think, where is LMND? Eh, it is up today, so would have worked. All right, Linda. Take care. Have a great weekend. Uh, I'll share the workspace, too. I'm not really sure, honestly, the, uh, the difference. I don't even think I've ever saved this workspace. So I've never shared the workspace, I guess, but, uh, oh, this looks very weird. I'm not sure if this is what you want. I think the first thing is what you want. Definitely not this, but you know what? I'll just share it anyway. Um, but I, you definitely want the, the first link ending in FW. Yeah, well, boys, it does kind of seem like that a little bit, huh? But it's not going to always be the case. The game changes all the time in all sorts of directions. All, ARTL kind of popping up here again, guys. Just waiting for that move on it. All right, hack the rich. It is time to unfortunately go... If anyone's watching this and I've banned you for what you believe is not the right reason, you can reach out to me at any time, alex at tradejournal.co, and I would be happy to review what happened. Um, but I don't put people on timeout anymore because we have too much spam. So the second I see anything that even looks like spam, I will just go ahead and ban that account. Um, so... I hope you understand. Thoughts on ZSAN? Let me pull it up here. Um, I don't like the price action, that's for sure. It's actually not the worst price action with this breakout, pullback, breakout, pullback. I just don't like the um, that kind of sub-dollar um, barcode kind of style that we were talking about here not too long ago. ZSAN, we've traded it in the past, and I'll probably trade it again, but um, there could be a great bottom bounce coming up here with big support at 145 and the 9 EMA. I'd be nervous for it to keep selling off. I don't know. Um, I, I'd be careful here. Um, could easily keep selling off, but I wouldn't be surprised if it spiked again at one point. Maybe not in the next week or two, but you know, a month or two down the road. AJ Thompson says, first link is totally what you wanted. Yeah, I had a feeling it was the first link. I was already nervous putting out the second link, but I said, you know what, let's try it. Um, I've never shared a workspace before. It's definitely the, um, the grid. Jason says, I would love to invest in a hairdresser. <laughs> I guess so. What do you mean by that? I invested in a razor and I just raise and shave my own hair so now i don't have to get a haircut anymore which i'm not talking down getting your haircut but sometimes it's a lot to plan especially when you're traveling so i was just like this is makes more sense for me qs guys qs launching again here so it looks like qs was an extended uh extended flag pattern maybe uh seven percent rally here and then it pulled back a total of three percent this is a breakout right now on QS. Let's watch this, guys. This is 100% a breakout right now, what we're seeing. Hopefully it's not a fake out. CDX, CDTX will fly today. Could be, no worries about it. Big resistance above, but you know we'll see how it goes. Day trading, it's pretty much non-responsive, so I, I usually don't look at it. 
Uh oh, was that a fake out on QS? If you guys look at the five minute chart, tell me that's not a perfect flag pattern. That is a bull flag if I've ever seen one. I mean, that is like, it even looks like one of those um, Mario Kart flags or something like that. Jason says it looked like a skinhead with a razor. <laughs> oh man. You got to put it on like um, the back setting where it has like, it goes out kind of far. Uh, so you don't shave too closely. ARTL, yeah, it's just inching along there. I like the fact that FTFT is selling off. Hillian's trying to come back a little bit. <laughs> RV's playing with fire, I see. Uh, yeah, Berlin is in very heavy lockdown still. Uh, the first or second link free my grandma. I need the flow B. I don't even know what that is. Flow B. Man, today's such a slow day. Um, I'm about to start eating more chocolate again or marzipan. Chopping my hair off with a flow B. This happened in April 2020, so it must have been middle of a lockdown kind of moment. The quarantine Floby self haircut. What the heck is that? No way, what is he doing? Is he vacuuming his hair up? Three hundred thousand views. What did I just watch? That was so unusual just now. That was like a vacuum hair cutting machine. I have no idea what I just saw. All right, guys. In terms of you know looking at tickers worth day trading, I'm really not seeing anything anymore. Uh, you know, I was thinking for a second QS might be popping up again, and I'm wanting to trade QS, but I don't know. It's not really uh, inspiring confidence. Last buyer trimmer. Uh, so I'm not really sure what to say. I want to quickly look here if uh, anything new popped up in terms of news. Do you guys ever follow up on this guy? Have you guys seen the video of the, the older um, gentleman here getting pushed over? It was pretty, uh, pretty insane.
I'm going to get Thackeray as a note of when I'm telling you this. I pull, put all the Just not expect to face further charges. Wow, that was pretty messed up. Cracked his skull on the pavement and sustained a brain injury. That is no joke. That was such an unnecessary move, too, from the cops. Then again, you don't really stand in front of cops when they're when the riot police is coming towards you. Um, uh, you're putting yourself in a very dangerous position. But still, like, the push was so unnecessary for this guy. It's not really much of a story but i guess the cops are cleared which is yeah it's it's i wasn't really expecting that but at the same time if you start arresting government workers it's a very slippery slope as well but i don't know because then you can't properly let's say do your job in, when you should be doing it properly but it's oh man it's gonna that's gonna upset a lot of people for sure qs guys moving here this is kind of the move we are waiting for all day here possibly breaking never want to be chasing but i like the energy here big 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 move let's let's keep let's keep our eyes on this one Might just keep running here past 53. Possible break there at 53. Boom. Oh, I gotta say, it's kind of unfortunate, huh? We could have maybe held through all of this, but there's a good chance I would've got faked out and probably even walked away with a loss it's it's hard to say what would have happened um so we had to manage our position nonetheless great breakout there makes me actually wonder how the other tickers are doing that we were watching hillion kind of consolidating here to the lows not what i was hoping here for ftft um also not doing too much Let's go back to QS quickly. I can go through the, uh, check out some of the tickers you guys are calling out in a bit. I just wanna watch uh, QS right now. It's not really giving any opportunity to buy it, unfortunately, after a nice 3% pop on this ticker, which is a pretty big move. This is a huge critical spot on this ticker right now. That high at 53.72, let's watch it here. CC and C moving as well. Markets are green again. VIX is down. Uh, Chris, I don't really see that ARTL is doing anything. Volume is actually at the lowest point since since the beginning. Not sure what you're seeing there. Welcome, Jared. We're using TOS, uh, Thinkorswim from TD Ameritrade, which I honestly don't know if I could recommend at the moment. It's been absolutely miserable the last last few weeks here. Man, QS doing exactly what I wanted it to do. I got shaken out. Oh, we would be up quite nicely on that move there. That's always a little bit painful when you kind of miss the move you're waiting for i find uh it is what it is but this is a new high this one's gonna have a lot of energy right now so i, I am watching it potential trade
I feel like we just had a new wave of people kind of coming in on the stream here. Absolutely amazing move there on QS. Possible break to new highs. So let's see if we can break 54. Struggling. Hammer candle though, good chance it might break this one. Here we go. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't necessarily want it to break 54 just now, but yeah, great move there. Congrats to anyone long this one. We were long it, but I sold. And uh, it's, uh, so yeah, move actually ended up playing out perfectly. I'm not really seeing any other opportunities that I'm super stoked about. FSR, good little pump there as well. Welcome, Laurent, and everyone else who's new. Right now, we're just kind of watching the market here. Usually, I'm done day trading by now, but I thought there was some opportunity on QS that I wanted to see if we can take advantage of. Um, otherwise, I'm not super interested in what we're seeing overall. It's been a pretty slow day in the market here. No surprise since Monday, uh, markets are closed. Um, it is Washington's birthday, uh, first president of the United States. So... Um, there's that, so that's gonna be closed Monday. So usually on three day weekend, you know, you get a little bit more unusual trading activity, sometimes lighter trading activity, sometimes very aggressive on something, but then everything disappears. Overall, the markets are neutral. Um, markets opened up beautifully though, uh, basically doing nothing. And so the small caps really had the area to shine. Uh, it's one of my favorite ways for the market to open. Not to mention we had two lead gappers. Um, that was beautiful to have such clear two lead gappers. Uh, unfortunately, TUS was having a lot of issues today. Um, that kind of kept me at bay. It also gave, gave back a lot of profits uh, because of those issues. So it hasn't been too ideal. <laughs> yeah, Jason, you're probably right. You're definitely probably right. Ulu Beck says he lost 7K. How can I get back? What happened? INPX, let's... Uh... Wait, is that the ticker you call down? I haven't looked at INPX in so long. This ticker went absolutely berserk not too long. Um, I don't even know when that was. We were trading it. Um, I, this, this is a ticker that I, I don't know. What do you want me to say? It's not something I would really recommend most people to trade. We were trading it uh, during New Year's. That's when it was. Um, that was actually on the stream. It was... It went absolutely crazy. I remember we were talking about this for a while. Um, even it was one of my most watched videos back then, INPX. I mean, this is a classic bag holder stock. This is a classic stock that that is 
<laughs> like I feel like I constantly repeat myself on these tickers. So I don't, I'm trying to think of something new to say on it. It's it's the, this stock is only going in one direction. It's it's to the downside. It's the worst investment you could probably do. It's this company. All they're trying to do is raise capital from the financial markets. They're just trying to pull as much money out um, from probably just retail investors because I don't know why anyone else would invest in this one. It's uh, you know. It's just a constant uh, reverse split. Then they're going to dilute. They're going to raise, um, do a secondary offering, put more shares into the market. Then they're going to do another offering. Um, and then when the price goes too low and they, they're about to get delisted, they're going to do a, um, a, a split. So the stock price goes up and they're going to pump it a little bit. And then they're going to do another offering. It's a vicious cycle that's been going on for pretty much years on this company. So I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't touch it unless... Unless, unless, unless it was a hot market. So we were trading INPX on these days um, when there was a lot of opportunity on it. Right now, it does look like it's trending back to the upside. It does look like it's probably being pumped in several areas. This could be another little bit of a big spike here into the fours, maybe even to the sixes if there's enough volatility behind it. Um, but be careful. Know what you're doing. Obviously, know you're, you're pretty much buying a scam and you know ride the wave but just know the the wave can disappear at any second man so i was really just hoping we'd snag qs and i think i missed my entry um every time um ah oh, so unfortunate so unfortunate with this one Yeah, this this would have put us over a K. So I think we're going to wrap it up here. I'm up 842 on the day, trading fairly small size. We we're trading like four or 5,000 on average today. You know, I, I decided to trade smaller size today because the market wasn't what I wanted it to be in TOS issues. So I said, screw it, like small size today. Unfortunately, the one trade I went full size on was the one where TOS literally broke down and closed on us. Um, that was really unfortunate. So yeah, yeah, a decent $800 day. Can't complain. Um, I mean, this week, it's one of my better days. It's been such a hectic week here. Um, we're wrapping up the week, um, you know, decent profit, but it's it's been a, been a hectic month uh, for sure. Um, really unfortunate with QS, I gotta say. That is not, that is not how I wanted that one to play out. So unfortunate that we, uh, we got shaken out of that one. Thanks for Moli. And uh, yeah, saw saw it's going off, huh? LKCO. Yeah, it is a nice little pump there, huh? Great action. There's always something, you know. You can always find something in the market trade. What's up, Elton? Welcome to the channel, man. Uh, OCG. Yeah, that's a popular ticker. Um, I. I don't know. I don't. I don't really have any thoughts on OCG myself. Uh, I'm not trading it. I'm not swing trading it. If it ends up, you know, being a, a runner, a big, a big hot one, uh, one point, you know, big momentum behind it, um, big catalyst, uh, top, top gainer. I, I would trade it for sure. I really like the the price range on it. Today, there is definitely some opportunity on this one today for sure. Actually, it's really not that bad at all. It, sometimes the volume really drops to zero on it which is not too nice it is on our watch list 20 million shares outstanding is pretty good as well so it definitely fits the criteria wow big sell-off there on qs qs doesn't really sell off more than like four four or five percent at a time. This was a big dip on this one. Perfect bounce on the 9 EMA. Yeah, sorry, uh, Eldon. I can't really say more. I haven't really been following the ticker site. So I don't know much about it. Otherwise, I'd be happy to give more input on it. But yeah, based on the price action, it looks like it's you know found a low and it's trending back to the upside. So hope you know could be could be good. Um, I usually am not swing trading companies like that. Uh, I'm usually only swing trading, you know, mid to large caps, but for day trading, for sure. I would definitely, I would definitely, you know, 
trade it. But like I said, only on a day where it's probably lead gap or otherwise, I don't think I would touch it. Nice bounce there on QS. Congrats to anyone that nailed that bounce. I think that was pretty, pretty sweet setup. Hillian's still still selling off here, which is such a disappointment. All right, guys, I'm out of here. What's up, Eugene? Good to see you, man. Um, I was hoping we get another trade in, uh, but you know, uh, I'm not gonna try to hope my way into a trade. I didn't see the setup I was wanting. I was too hesitant on QS when it was breaking higher. Uh, and then I didn't buy the dip just now. So no more no more trading here for me. I'm gonna be happy with my profits um, and just kind of leave it at that. So nice little nice little rendezvous here. ARTL and CLEU were the main ones. If you guys wanna learn more about these tickers, just watch the beginning of this stream where I dive into them more individually. Uh, I, I don't know if we're gonna be seeing much more of them, but um, you know, it could be. Um, ARTL, nice little kind of rally here, but there's such big resistance on it. And then CLEU, this this was a tough one. I think CLEU is gonna go pretty much bye-bye at this point. Um, nasty sell off there, so I don't know. No hopes there, volumes disappearing drastically. QS, back at it again. Great dip buy on that one. Congrats to anyone that nailed that dip buy. Oh, oh my God. It takes a lot for a ticker to give me FOMO and QS is kind of giving me a little bit of FOMO, which is ridiculous because it's like the slowest moving stock ever. I think I have like this weird relationship with QS because I've always wanted it. Uh, and then I constantly missed it if I didn't have funds available, if I got shaken out, if I sold too early. Like I never got the move on QS. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's why it's bumming me out a little extra. I don't know. It's kind of ridiculous, makes zero sense, and uh, it's super subjective. Okay, guys, I'm out of here. I will see you then first thing on Tuesday morning. Monday, markets are closed. So, yeah, guys, have a great weekend. Uh, try to enjoy the great outdoors. If you're in the snow, I highly would recommend sledding. And, uh, yeah, guys, I'm out of here. I have a cat-dog relationship with QS. Yeah, it's, it's the one that got away a little bit. Oh yeah, that sounds really good, Jeff420 Chef. Can you mail one here? I don't even know if that would be possible. It'd probably just be like a crunched up Twinkie by the time it got here. I'll just have to visit California. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Or maybe when I'm in Utah, maybe I'll have to come to Utah. See ya, see ya, see ya. Weekend.